check that out as he's yanking and banking down the show line. All of our pilots are busy in the hot pits right now, getting cranked up and ready to start the show. Sebring Aerobatic Championships. He had less than 30 hours of pitch time at that time. Check out the wing smoke. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, streaming the red, white, and blue for Veterans Day weekend. This is Chef Pitts. Work upside down. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. He's pushing those negative G's one more time for the outside barrel roll. originally used on the North American Buckeye T2 aircraft, producing 12,000 horsepower. Coming from the turbine engine as the jet car springs to life, piloted by Bill Barak, the Smoke and Thunder jet car. Those many sonic...
As you listen to those T6 Texans, as they've been used widely in the Reno Air Races, as well as civilian aerobatic aircraft. You'll see amazing aerobatic displays put on with these airplanes, used for low level. Second Huey, we have former Captain Ike Isaacson, who was a Black Hawk pilot in Desert Storm, and we have Greg Mercier. He was the he is the chief pilot for Georgia State Patrol. And again, flying age one cover is our chief pilot, Marine Lieutenant Colonel Peyton D. Hall, and his front seater is former Army Captain. John Watts, who is one of our Apache pilots. So as they get to midfield here, you can see the ball is going to pitch up with the nose and break. And that second aircraft waits another couple of potatoes and then follows right behind it. Now they have that beautiful separation. <laughs> Chef Pitts is on the takeoff and he is off and out of here back down south. comes just over the treetops with the pull back of the stick of the Warhawk up into the skies and here we go. A little hesitation on the half Cuban on the down line. We position the Warhawk and bring it down the show line this time low and from the left. flight. The P-51, the P-40, and the P-36, P-63, excuse me. Give them a big wave, ladies and gentlemen. Get those hands in the air. All of you, wave at the pilots. Especially that guy in the Mustang up there. He has been the most chatty pilot I have ever seen while flying, or I should say heard. He's been talking to our air boss the entire time. Now on takeoff roll, Roger Malai and the CJ-6. Tom Richard with the P-40. And 
was a licensed good version of the AK-10. Advancements in pilot training brought a new field for the American Air Force and the Air Force and the Air Force. mushroom clouds and feel the hit right in your chest.
sleep. The raid lasted for a little over two gruesome hours. When the first bombs began to fall, pilots all over the island jumped into action. At Wheeler Field, Lieutenant Philip Rasmussen woke to the sound of bombs, jumping out of bed, strapping on a 45 caliber pistol over his purple pajamas, and ran to a working Curtis P-36 Hawk. Just like the one we saw take off to join the flight to defend that. Designed for the attack on Pearl Harbor. 